Welcome back. This is very cool. We have a table tennis champion on the show with us here uh, this afternoon on uh, Rogers Daytime. Uh, but first, before we introduce him, how about this? We introduce Steve Lambruschini, who is uh, the co-founder of the Ottawa Table Tennis Club. That's nice right. to see you. Welcome Thank to you. the show. It looks like you're going to be we're going to be playing some table tennis coming up. Absolutely. But I'm afraid to play it against this guy. Um, uh, Philippe Ilewski, uh, you are the champion. You are like the best player in, in Canada. Is that, is that, how does that make you feel? Uh, yes, sir. That, that makes me feel good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> after, A lot of hard after, work. After that many years of, of practicing to finally be able to accomplish that, uh, yeah, yeah. it's satisfaction. That's very cool. Okay, so we'll talk about your love for uh, table tennis coming up in moments. But Steve, you obviously have a love of table tennis because you were mm -hmm. opening up uh, the Ottawa Table Tennis Club. The official opening is coming on February 18th. Let's go back in time a little bit about why you love this sport so much. Sure. Um, it's not just me. It's also my uh, co-founder, business partner, Michelle Legal. I love it. Uh, I'm not sure why, but yeah. I, eight years ago, I picked it up. Yeah. And uh, two years ago, Michelle did the same thing. And um, a year ago, we went to talking, and we said this has to happen mm -hmm. because uh, Ottawa doesn't have a full-time table tennis club. At least it didn't until January 9th. That's very cool. And we're full service uh, for all ages, all skill levels. We're very welcoming. Sunday's family day. Yeah. Um, it's a great place to uh, get have some fun and get some exercise, especially in these cold winter months. Mm -hmm. So it opened up less than a month ago, but you've yeah. got a big grand opening coming up. Uh, what has the reception been so far? How, how have people... Uh, have they come on board? Are a lot of people playing? Uh, absolutely. So I've worked in table ten tennis last uh, six years. Mm -hmm. So I've gotten to know the Ottawa table tennis community quite well. And I've had, found a lot of support from the players that I know. And uh, already we're exceeding all of our targets in terms of membership. Yeah. Uh, the enthusiasm is incredible. People are coming um, as, as well and helping us out. It's, it's tough. We, we have an 80-hour work week. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, but people from the community support us. We really want to make sure new players have someone to play with each time that they visit. Yeah. And uh, so people from the community who have some skill already are giving some tips to them, which okay. is great. Fun. And it's nice to have the Canadian champion on board uh, with this initiative as well. So tell us about your championship. When did this happen? Uh, this happened in the month of July at Winnipeg. Yeah. This was right after the Pan American Junior Championships. Mm -hmm. I was feeling a little down at that tournament, but started nationals, things started kicking up, and then next thing you know, I ended up winning, so. Yeah, which is pretty good which feeling. Which is a pretty good feeling, yeah. So how many years then have you been playing table tennis? I started playing when I was nine years old, so that would make it nine years that I've been playing table tennis yeah. every day for three, four hours a day. So to become a champion, is that what you've got to do, three or four hours a day? Are you still doing that, even as a champion, um, three or four hours a day? Now, I've slowed down a little since I've started university, but to, succeed in table tennis three four hours a day um kids in asia are practicing eight hours a day Jeez. since they since they're six years old in europe kids are practicing four to six hours a day so um yeah the commitment is intense yeah you have to yeah you have to be you have to be willing to devote a lot of time and a lot of sacrifice to be able to achieve anything. Okay. All right, so you guys are just going to do a bit of a demonstration, and then I'm going to take on the champion here. I don't know why we're going to subject good. myself to that kind of embarrassment. But uh, Okay, so, yeah. so what are you going to show us? I mean, are there some moves you can show us, like how to be a better table tennis player? Some or basic what? shots. Yeah. Um, yeah. We can okay. start off with the forehand, which is the most rudimentary shot. Yeah. Okay. Before, before this game, is, um, players This is how you warm up. up. Oh. This way. This is the first shot you learn when you first start playing. <laughs> and switch the backhand. You can switch the backhand. <laughs> you want to switch the back right in the middle. Let's just switch the backhand like it's no big deal. All right, and then yeah. let's. Uh, and you can go back and forth. Wow. So this is the first thing that you learn to play when you start training, how to control the ball. Yeah, right. you say this is the first thing you learn, but this has got to take quite some time to actually learn, like to master that. That that doesn't that doesn't look very easy. Uh, well, you said it when you were it, ten years old. It <laughs> takes it takes quite some time, and <laughs> people go through their entire lives and still can't exactly find that secret formula as to yeah. how to play perfect. Can I do okay. a couple top spins? Before what do you got? Some top spins here? Okay, sure. Why that. not? Ha! So you're going to, uh, okay, 
<laughs> so now it's yeah. your turn, Dylan. <laughs> sure, why not? Okay, all right. So what kind of what kind of moves are we doing here? Basically, uh, just keep it in play moves. Keep it in play. All right. Now, are you right. starting? So let's yeah. not go too fast. By the way, how how fast is that going at one point? Because that looks like it's it's um, pretty decent speed. When you're playing at a top level, the ball <laughs> can go over 200 kilometers an hour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's not do that. Let's okay. Not do that. So let's show you how to real yep. quick. Just sure. like you're shaking someone's hand, yep. and you're kind of clipping the racket. So this kind of deal? Yeah, that's, that's quite good. Yeah. Just tuck this finger in. Oh, perfect. So okay. now we're going in auto. And that's the grip. All right, now now we're going to see how it's done. So I guess, uh, okay, you, take you start. Balls. See how long I can keep this ball in play. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, yeah. Point oh, he's got, look at, <laughs> this is brutal. It's <laughs> See, I saw Forrest Gump do it, and I thought there was, if he could do it, I'm right? counting points. I think it's a 2-1 for Dylan right now. Oh, wow. What's going on? You mean I'm winning? Yeah, yeah but somehow. he could just all of a sudden just start, like, nailing it as hard as he can, right? So, th oh. this is uh, basically very close to a professional match. Uh, type what? Style uh, I, can't, oh. I, I, I couldn't tell the difference. Oh, yeah? <laughs> no, you can't, eh? That's coming up. All okay. right, so how about... Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh! oh. Do you want to try that against some of those top spins? Yeah, sure. Now, what is a top spin exactly? What do, what do you mean when you say top is, spin? We'll call it a modified version of this regular shot we were showing you before. Yeah. Except you're putting a lot more body into the shot, so oh, it comes. Okay. It comes a lot faster and a lot with a lot more spin. Here, you can. Should I have uh, stretched before? Oh! <laughs> yeah, I missed that one. Completely. I got some balls. Okay. That's exciting. But but do you actually like? Obviously, this is like. Do, do you? Do you keep in shape for this? You have to. Like, yes. do you hit uh, the gym? A lot, and and a lot of people don't think so just because it's ping pong, but um, you do have to keep in shape. Cardio is, the, is a big thing. Yeah. Um, the top, the best players in the world are constantly running. Mm -hmm. Well, I can notice it though because I'm a little out of breath from this. Like, this is, <laughs> this is a bit of a workout. It's a really good core workout. Yeah. So, the top athletes, they're working on their core muscles a yeah. lot. And also, uh, you do break a sweat when you're playing. Yeah, it's I a lot of. It's, a, it's like. in close quarters with a lot of motion. Tell, tell us exactly when, because you've got this grand opening coming up on the 18th, yes. and as well as so a tournament happening? Yes, yeah. So, it's uh, a lot of things happening. So, it's at 1 p.m. On, on February 18th. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to have uh, some guest speakers in, and then uh, Philippe and a group of uh, high-level athletes are going to do a really fun exhibition, okay. uh, which is going to be entertaining, followed by a free community tournament. Right. We want as many enthusiasts to come this for is the fun. tournament. OTTC.ca. OTTC.ca. Now, he called it ping pong. Should we not do that? You can, that's a myth. So you that's can call it ping pong. You can call it table tennis. Yeah. Okay. So in China, it's their ping. national sport. They call it, they ping, call pong. it ping pong. Fair it's, enough. Yeah. All right, let's play it to break. We'll find out what coach houses are next on daytime. But first, let me just show this champion how it's done here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> More to come on Good. daytime. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm.